Hey guys, a very warm welcome to Rihant Online Academy. And here it is lecture three for distributed systems. And uh, in this video, we are going to deal with goals of distributed systems. And before this video, we have already taken two lectures in which in which first uh, in first lecture we have discussed about distributed systems introduction, its overview, where it can be used, and uh, uh, you can simply say that characteristics of uh, uh, distributed systems and in second uh, lecture we have already discussed about various architectures various architectures of distributed systems right and here in this session we are going to discuss about goals of distributed systems so the content is like important goals of distributed systems first we will discuss about connecting users and resources then we will discuss transparency then we are then we will deal with different types of transparency then we will discuss about openness. Then we will discuss scalable, that how system should be scalable, then reliability, performance, and then concurrency, right? So let's start one by one. First, if you will see the most important goal of distributed systems are as follows. The first one is connecting users and resources, connecting users and resources. So if you will read the first point to make it easy for users, to access resources and to share them with other users in, in controlled way. So how it can be easy means our goal should be that the resources that are placed at various locations, various geographical locations, which are separated together, we have to share them in a manner that uh, they can be way, they can be easy, right? User interface should be easy and they can be controlled. They can be controlled in very easier manner, right? So users can control in, uh, you can simply say that users can control them in very easier manner. Secondly, if you will see it, resources are anything that may be virtually or maybe like uh, printers, storage facilities, data files, web pages and networks, or maybe like operating systems, man frames, right? So it can be of any types. And uh, with sharing resources, we can optimize the cost of functioning. So the first and mo for most important goal is users and resources, that how to connect users and resources. Users, connecting users and resources at various geographical locations. It is our first goal. The second goal of distributed system is transparency. What do you mean by transparency here? One of the most important goal of a distributed system is to abstract its processes and resources that are physically distributed across multiple computers over different geographical locations maybe. It means that we all know that uh, distributed systems, basically it is a collection of large number of computing devices, which is working as a single machine, as a single system. But in reality, the system is the system's processes, systems resources are, basically shared from various different geographical locations which are not separate which may be uh, together but it may be apart so we need to abstract its process from the users right it's like that and uh, a distributed system that is act, that is capable of presenting itself to the user and application such that it acts as an only a single computer system called transparent so distributed system capable of presenting itself to the user application such that user can feel that it is it is a single system. User can feel that it is a single system, but we know that in background, many processes, many computing devices, many digital devices, many mainframes, operating systems, hardware, database files, servers are working at maybe from different locations, maybe from different uh, geographical parts that are not physically together. That is the thing that user must feel that they are part of single system and working as a single system. This is the transparency. Now, if you will see different types of uh, transparencies in distributed systems, so the first one is access, means we need to hide data representation from the users. In location, we have, we have to hide the locations of the resources from the users. In migration, we have to move place information in it and relocate relocation, hide mood place relocation. We have to hide this information from the user and we have to make our system act as a single system. And replication, hide that use resources is replicated and concurrency, shared databases access. And the failure is hide fact about resource failure. 
and persistence is how it fit about memory locations. So these all are the different types of transparencies in distributed system. We have to hide the failures. If any component get failed, we have to make our machines such that it can operate, such that it can operate just uh, it can recover the failure and it can work again like the same system. Wherever there is a replication or there is a relocation of resources, because resources will move from one to there, one, one to another, whenever whatever information will require, they will be covered from each and every area. So we have to hide this much information, right? This is the transparency. The next one, next important goal is openness. An open distributed system is a system that offers services in standards that describe well the syntax and semantics of those services. Instance, standard rules in computer networks control the format, content, and meaning of the messages sent and received. Openness means open software. I hope that you have heard about the open system, open software, right? So if anybody want to contribute for its upgradation, it must be like that. Open distributed system needed to be flexible, which makes it easy for configuration and to be add new components without affecting already existing components. Just take an example of Linux. It is open software community in which if any user want to pay its contribution for the betterment of the software so that the already existing should not be disturbed, but without affecting that, you may add new components so that it may be that kind of flexible. And the next one is scalability. The next goal is scalability. That is, it can be seen as a system must be scalable in case of increase in the size of resources and users. And three important criteria of scalability is any distributed system can be scalable with respect to its volume, which can be add more users and resources to a system. So if many users are adding, right? So your system should be scalable such that if many users may add it, new users may add it from anywhere, it may be scalable for that. And the users and resources can be geographical apart. It's like that. And it can be ex expanded anytime. Resources may expand it and users may expand it. And the third most is it should be possible to manage even if administrative organization may be spanned. So in all these cases, our system must be capable itself so that it can show the scalability there and it can work accurately and correctly in that, in that sense. And uh, if you talk about the next important goal, that is nothing but reliability. It means system must be more reliable on sing single system. Why? Because we are working with the different systems, with the thousands of computing devices, but system must be reliable on single systems, right? Means single system, it should work like that. It must be reliable to the user. The idea is like if some machine goes down or some machine get temporarily failure, some other, other machine must get too used to it. Me means in distributed system, you all know that various machines are there. Let's say machine A is here, machine B is here. Suppose they get failure. So at the same time, how the system will behave, that how it will recover, how, how it will recover that uh, failure, how it get used to be. So other machine at the same time can be you get used. It can replicate the resource or what it can do, whatever it can do, but it must have to be used to it so that the user can't feel that, that it is not a single system or like that, right? So this is the reliability system must be reliable. The more goal here is the distributed system must be reliable. And the next goal is performance. That is system must run fast. Our system must run fast. I mean, suppose we are using various resources from various locations, right? So it should not be like that. It is slow. If it is slow, it doesn't use of it, right? So it can't be slow. And system utilization or throughput, or we can betterly say that efficiency, efficiency of system must be high, must be high. It should be more so that cost can be optimized. So uh, our resources should be used to more and more. Our efficiency should be that the organization, the distributed system that we have created, the computing devices uh, that we have created, it should it, it should give us more. It should uh, it should perform more, right? It should work more. And responses time should be one. Uh, whatever response each and every machine should have, it, it must be. It, we have to make a global clock so that uh, each and every device should be work in sense that uh, response time should be one. And the next one is cap network capacity should be high so that we have to we have to uh, we have to give the instructions or we have to give to the uh, give users to its uh, resources or share resources with them. It should be like that. If uh, any time it we need to expand in, or expand, it can be done in that manner. And the last one is the concurrency. May, uh, uh, in our slide, it is last one, but uh, is of reality, it may be more 
right so concurrency many clients at the same time can share same resources many clients at the same time can ask for resources so in concurrent environment in this type of environment the system should behave that uh, it must provide all clients same resources if they ask with very accuracy correctly with correct efficiency right so this is the seven important goals which we have discussed here in respect of distributed systems right so we have covered this so i hope that this lectures might be useful for you and guys do subscribe and uh, hit the bell bell button icon for much more content on distributed systems and uh, on all computer science systems lectures important mcqs previous year questions job updates and everything right so do guys do subscribe if you any doubts or query regarding this session do comment we will try to solve them as early as possible from our side guys have a very nice day jai hind jai bharat